What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and in this video we are in the garage studios. Uh, the reason for that is I want to talk about the Tesla Powerwall. So the next step was for me to schedule a site survey where a Tesla energy consultant or employee would come to my house to look at what we currently have. Now in the preparation of the visit, it said that I needed to give them access to the attic, the roof, uh, the backyard, and the garage. When the uh, Tesla employee came to do the site survey, he went into the garage to check out pretty much where they could install the power walls. He checked out the ground um, to see where they could install things and ground their equipment. And then he checked out the panels as well as different walls uh, towards the backyard. They did send out a lot of emails notifying me, hey, two days from now you have an appointment. Hey, one day from now you have an appointment. Hey, today you have an appointment. So they kept, they kept uh, notifying me and reminding me of the appointment, but the day of, they did not say, hey, we're on our way. Also, in the initial uh, emails, it said that uh, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., expect someone to come. I'm like, man, that's the whole day. 24 hours uh, prior to the appointment, they did narrow it down from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. So uh, it was only a two hour window. Again, it was only about just about an hour that he spent in the house or on my property uh, inspecting the, the many different places. While the, the Tesla person was here, I asked him a bunch of questions. Um, he tried to answer them as best as he could because some of the questions I had to ask my pro project manager or design team, but he did his best to answer some of them. Um, I asked them things like, do you guys still stack batteries where you would install um, batteries on top of each other? Like in front, I guess in front of each other. Uh, according to him, they no longer do that. Um, and then the they would install in the garage or outside uh, the walls if there are any space. So I'm getting conflicting answers between the project manager and the um, site survey employee um, because when I asked the same questions uh, regarding the stacking of batteries, um, the project manager says they, they do that, but some uh, cities does not allow it, so it won't pass inspection. And also, according to the project manager, they no longer install inside the garage for a uh, possibility of a fire hazard. So I'm not sure um, who is correct or what, what the, the answer is on that or what is Tesla's policy. I have a coworker who's also adding power walls to his existing power wall, which is inside the garage. And he had his site survey a few days after mine. So I'm gonna ask him how they're gonna do it because his was installed inside the garage and he's had it for probably three or five years from already. I can't, I can't remember. It's like maybe three years, three to five years. So the site survey person also went up into the roof and the reason for that is to check my existing uh, solar panel brand and model number. Um, just, I guess, to make sure if uh, it's compatible with the power wall or whatnot or how much output and, and capabilities and all that. I did uh, inform him that I have two different arrays, one leased and one purchased. He is unsure if he's able or if Tesla will allow for the lease panels to feed into the battery. I've also asked the project manager that question and he is also unsure, but he will get back to me with an answer. Um, so a lot of weird things going on related to lease panels, but I'm sure we could strain these things out. I'm sure people have Tesla power walls with lease panels. So hopefully we can also add that and make it one giant array feeding into the battery. So how many power walls do I plan on getting? I, I wanted two. The main reasons for two is because I wanted to back up our air conditioner. Now there are these LLRA or LAR ratings. Um, so make sure if you do the site survey that they take note of that. I also noted the to the site survey that our water heater um, is electric. Um, and he also took note of the uh, LRA or LAR uh, ratings on it. 
I also noted that I have a shed with a mini split. Um, if he took note of any of the ratings there, he said he didn't need to because mini splits uh, run very efficiently and um, doesn't need to be considered. So um, I'm gonna put some links in the description below for information regarding that. Um, luckily, again, my coworker has power walls and he mentioned it to me and I did take note of that. Okay, so this is the side of my garage where this is my something something from sun power this is sun power is my um the one that came with the house 12 panels that we leased so this is the brains here um i got a lot of stuff here that i have to move for you to show you so as you can see there's space here and this is my tesla uh wall charger my wall connector there's conduit here um we got it installed by an electrician but the problem is the conduit is like about two feet off the ground. I think it has to be a certain height off the ground um, to pass uh, inspection, but that's an issue because they prefer to have the power walls mounted as close to the ground as possible. So this may not work. I'm not too sure, but as far as width is concerned, I think power walls are about 29.6 inches in dimension as far as width. So they might be able to put it here. I'm not, I can't remember how tall it is, Okay, so the next area that they took pictures of is this side of the garage. It's actually on the opposite side of where my charger is and my electric panel. But <laughs> he was like, if you can move these right here, so I have two, two shelves here that I, I can move, then they may be able to um, install two power wall batteries here next to each other. Um, they don't necessarily uh, install them on top of each other according to the site survey person um, because it requires a very tall ceiling and uh, my ceiling here is probably 8 to 10 feet it's probably yeah I don't know 9 feet probably I'm not I don't know um, but that's not enough for you to install a power wall and then another power wall uh, right above it so I, I don't know. I, I'm getting a lot of um, different information, um, but this is another area where um, I can get the power walls installed. I just have to relocate this this section right here. Right, so we are in the side of the house, on the side of the garage, and this is where my electrical panel is, my meter, um, and then this is my end phase. This is the um, second array that we have installed. Um, and the 23 panels. So this is where the uh, inverter or the main brains are. Um, so I have two, two of them. So sun power inside and end phase outside. But um, then I have my communications panel here for uh, fiber. We have uh, fiber internet as well as um, cable uh, available here as well. Now we can install, we cannot install anything here um, because there's just no room over here. So I don't know. And then the other issue is, let me pan the camera this way. This is the other issue right here. The, um, my, my, is this my gas? I think it's my gas. Gas or water? One, no, this is gas. <laughs> um, so we have a gas meter there that's in the way, so it's just not gonna work. Okay, so now we are through my gate. Um, behind or in front or behind the camera <laughs> is where my electrical panel and stuff are but this is the side of the house this is the garage door um, going into the garage from the side of the house but the site survey person came through here and took pictures as well and he said maybe we could install a power wall here um, and then another one here so this is the issue and i've asked them how thick it was um, because we've had some landscaping work done in the backyard and we were able to fit a bobcat um, <laughs> through here so if we ever need uh, large projects done in the backyard we need to be able to get bobcats or are that, is that what they're called the little bulldozer things it fits it actually fits here so if we were to put power walls here is the thickness thicker than maybe this <laughs> this right here and he said it probably is and so that 
may not be a good idea because it kind of limits us into having large projects done in the backyard if we ever need to do it again. And so I don't know. And, and the other issue, at least in this area, this area, I don't know if you can see in this uh, when I'm framing the camera, but um, we, we put grills, we put little grills um, in the solar panels because we have a bunch of birds that love to nest under the solar panels. And since we've covered that part up, they now perch on the side of our roofs um, and they poop. They poop in this area, like right here. So there's some poop here right now. We've cleaned it up, but um, there's some poop again. So if we put solar or solar panel, if we put a battery here, it's like line of sight, like in the line of fire, Clint Eastwood. Um, <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna get pooped on and I'm not sure um, that's gonna be a, a good idea. The other location is in this area past the kitchen window um, where we could actually probably do all three power walls all the way here. Um, now the issue with that is again, maybe the, the bird poop is gonna still get it. I'm not sure, but we don't get that much bird poop there. But uh, they told me that you can only be about 150 feet away from the, um, like the source or the brains or the electric panel. I'm not really sure, but um, I don't know if he measured it, but it's, it's worst case scenario there um, if they can install it. We get a lot of winds. I don't know. If the wind is being picked up right now uh, on the microphone, but in our area, we get a lot of winds. Santa Ana winds, Southern California, Santa Ana winds. We're like at the foothills, um, so a lot of dust, but I think I'm more concerned about the bird poop. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only uh, person that's going to get power walls or own power walls in my area, so I'm sure they're affected by the winds and everything is fine anyway. But the bird poop is what I'm concerned about. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm hoping to hear some good news from the design team uh, based on the pictures that the site survey um, has taken. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. So I hope you've enjoyed this video as I share with you the experiences that I've had so far with trying to order the power wall. Hopefully we could figure things out. I just found out that they canceled my power wall order because one of my arrays is leased. Apparently Tesla will not work with uh, leased panels. Uh, they claim that it just gives them too much problems. I'm very disappointed. Um, it's not that you can't get power walls, but you just can't get power walls from Tesla. You would probably have to go through a third party vendor, which charges a lot more money because they are the middleman. So kind of really disappointed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just sharing with you what happens during a uh, site survey visit um, when you are purchasing a power wall. Unfortunately, it didn't uh, go the way I wanted it to go, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any ideas, um, again, it's not a need, it's more of a want. Um, if you've been through this, uh, again, I'm in Southern California. If you know of a vendor that would actually give you a good deal on power walls, the one I went through last I checked, two power walls is about 30K, um, which is about a couple of thousand more than Tesla, but they are willing to, to do it. Um, they're the ones that installed my uh, 23 panels right next to my least panel. So th they'll do it. Um, I just don't know if 30,000 for two power walls with installation and everything is a good deal. Let me know what you see out there, what you guys went through. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.